time for a face-to-face -face chat with my old friend, Sheriff Truart. Work out our differences. Show him the little piece of evidence that I lifted from the mechanist. I'm sure he'll appreciate the consequences if this were to be made public. Truart was acting for somebody when his cronies ambushed me back at the crippled Burrick Inn. I bet he'll be happy to tell me who that was. It was cocktail night at Truart Estate, which meant I needed to wait until all the guests had cleared out. Truart has beefed up security since becoming sheriff, so breaking in may prove to be a little difficult. Hopefully some drunken guest left me an open door. By the time I find my way in, the sheriff will be fast asleep. I watched the last guest leave about an hour ago and the servants are no doubt cleaning up while the rest of the house turns in for the night. Now to find my way over that wall. All right, and finally we'll be able to blackmail the sheriff. Although I kind of wonder, maybe Garrett should just send him a blackmail letter. You know, because I mean, if he's going to the sheriff in person, carrying the evidence with him, there's always the risk that the sheriff would just attack him or have some trick up his sleeve or in some way manage to get a hold of the evidence and destroy it. Wouldn't it be better if Garrett was like, I have the recording, meet me at so-and-so, come alone, or maybe put such and such, such amount of money at a doorstep at this time, or else the the recording will be made public, something like that. But nope, Garrett likes to put take things in his own hands, I guess. So we're going to find the sheriff asleep, hopefully. We have to confront him, confront him with the recording and steal some money. Only 1100 in loot, which is kind of surprising. Again, I'm just surprised, I'm just shocked how much lo less loot there is in this game as compared to the previous game. Maybe they thought it was just too much and it just made the money seem cheap. So I wonder why there's less now. Is it simply because they want the money to, be, to seem like it's worth more? Or is it just because... Oh, like, are they trying to indicate something? Like, like, is the city literally supposed to be poorer now? Is that trying to be indicated? Or is that is it simply just a matter of mechanics and balancing? I don't know. Then we have to go to a safer location after we're done with the sheriff. And don't kill anyone, even though they deserve to feel our wrath. But we're not a, a murderous individual, because we are a master thief. So, duh. I'm not going to bother with a tip or any of this crap because I've got everything I believe I need and there's just no need to bother. There's not going to be the tile hell that we had in the previous mission, so I'm not going to bother getting a bunch of moss arrows and all that kind of stuff. I think I'll do fine with this, just this and stuff I find. Let's just take this 2,191 coins and just dump them in the river. Alright. Quite the security there. He's even got his own blue coats watching his house. You think that that some people would question the ethics of that? I mean, he yeah, he is sheriff, but should you really have such a large chunk of your own police force protecting just your own estate? I suppose that they do have like a party going, so maybe it's a sensible choice. These it's not like these guys are personal guards or anything. You know, they've got a job to do, protecting the streets, and yet he's got them. Um, coming around protecting his own little interests here. It's almost like he's corrupt or something. Jeez, it's crazy. I always love addicts in games like this. This one isn't the most interesting, but I love the sloping ceilings and, and like these um, side areas that kind of branch off like that. That's always pretty cool. Okay, nothing too interesting up here. Oh, sleeping guy in there, so I gotta be a bit quiet. I'm not a big fan of this white texture for the walls because it just looks so empty. Especially when it's on the ceiling here too. It just looks like plain white. It's supposed to be like stucco or plaster or something, but damn, I just don't like the look of it very much. Hello. Hopefully he didn't need that ring too much. Let's see what we got here. Stephanie. Aw, he's writing a a love letter. It's probably that that ring is for for Stephanie, huh? Eighteen hour days in the warehouse. Well, at least he admits that mechanists are arrogant, but they have a vision. Hmm. Interesting. 
Love is the most important thing in his life. Ekim. Ekim. I don't know. I've, I've never seen that name before. So I'm guessing that we just stole the ring that he intended to propose to her with. Jeez, Garrett, I hope you're happy. You just ruined this poor man's life. And then we bopped him on the head when he when we startled him awake, so... What a poor little bastard. There you go. And now he's got to sleep the wrong way around. He's going to have a bad cramp when he wakes up from having his legs elevated. Alright, now we could go... In fact, I think I will go briefly the other direction. Oh, god damn it. I guess I can't go through, <laughs> through the front there. So I'm going to have to come through the house again. But there is, I believe, some more over here that I wouldn't be able to get to otherwise that may be worth investigating, like this house right here. I love going in houses through windows and stuff. It's just so satisfying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no other way to get in here besides this. Because this, that over there is uh, just a wall that kind of ends. I don't think it really goes anywhere. Let's see. Yeah, see, that's the end of the level there, so there's no way we're going to be coming around like that anywhere else. May as well come through here like this. Uh, I just got turned around. Uh, okay. No need to go that way. Oh, he has a back door. Cool. Or she. I assume it's a he. He actually has to sleep in the kind of musty attic. That's... You'd think that this is his house, he'd have a... Something downstairs he could sleep on. Did I wake him up? Yes, I did. Nighty night. That's just a problem with the setup. I wonder, it's probably going to be a little different for Fen. Because it's just kind of a matter of how the AI are gener uh, generically set up. They just happen to wake up if they hear, well, if they get a first alert, which can be done, of course, when you pick a lock or open a door and someone's like, what was that? And then they just keep walking, but in this case, it wakes them up. So, in my opinion, it's better if, if it's set for them to wake up only on a second alert. Whoop. Uh -huh. All right. Be a little more careful this time, shall we? Whoop. Uh, 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 uh. I'm kind of in sight here. Thankfully, those turrets don't attack you unless the the... Watchers attached to the turrets are activated, so that's merciful anyway. Just leave all the windows open because screw these guys, they deserve to get tons of mosquito bites. Speak up, Speak up. I think I saw someone. I'm not as big a fan of how these houses are. Oh. Who are you? That's kind of awkward. He's sitting up, and then he heard me just walking in the room. Hmm. I'm not as big a fan of how these houses are designed here. I really wish that there was a little more detail here, but it's probably because they were just kind of running out of resources by the time they built the mansion itself. I'm pretty sure, though, that the mansion is nothing compared to the size of the bank. I could be mistaken, but I really don't recall it being that enormous. Maybe it's just because there's such a big courtyard outside of it. See, how big is the Truer to stay? Yeah, it doesn't look that big. I mean... Eh, there's a f more floors, though. More full floors than there were in the bank, kind of. I don't know. Maybe it is decently big, but I don't recall it being that huge. Could be mistaken, though. Noisy, clicky tile. This comes out the front, right? Yep. I'm not your son. You're not my father. Well, maybe you are. Wouldn't that be ironic? Because actually, we don't know who Garrett's parents are. He doesn't. He either doesn't know who they are, or he just doesn't mention them ever. Uh. What uh was that? Uh oh. Uh oh. I I'm hoping I'll escape. Come on. Oh crap! It's locked. Stupid. You're stupid. Let's see if I can bash it open. No! I want to get in the door! Get him away! I want to bash open the door! I, want, I must know what's inside of it! I must know! I must! I must know! Oh! Oh! Haha! -ha. Maybe I should come in the side window or something. 
Ah, ah. <laughs> I'll see your bones bleach yet. Really, it'd take a while for my bones to bleach, so it seems like kind of a waste of time if you're really gonna wait to see that. Ah. Let's see how you look as a porcupine. Bad day for you, looks like. They're after the porcupines. Hey, why is this pagan helping them? <laughs> okay, either you're not supposed to really go in there, or it's just unless there was some way out from the top. There's an upstairs to this house, isn't there? Yeah, it was just up there. So maybe I can get out that wind. Yeah, this upper window. Here we go. That's what I meant to do, most likely. Whoops. Uh, no, uh. He totes did not. Okay, I'm gonna go out that back door instead. The one that I came in through. Derp. What? Something there? That's enough lurking about. Ah, jeez. Not much I can do here except for just hope I catch him at the right point. See that? Hey, did you notice? Think that? we got trouble? No, there was no trouble here. Wow, you suck at your job. You should feel ashamed. <laughs> oh well. You go there. And you can come over here too. Her portrait there in that picture that of Garrett holding her almost looks kind of like a man there. It's a man, baby. Uh, yeah, this place is pretty empty, but I guess it makes sense because a pagan would be fairly poor. And this is probably an abandoned house and he doesn't even own it. Oh, and he is stuck waist deep in the floor. Or he was. No. Bad pagan. Go down. Okay, that's it. Wonder why he has a golden candlestick. Think you wouldn't be able to afford luxuries like that. Well, a golden candlestick holder. Obviously, the the candle itself is not golden because that would be rather pointless and wouldn't do much good. Hmm, let's see. Okay, so I guess that is the only way in, huh? Unless I... Maybe I can find a way over this wall here. It's been a while. I really don't recall how this works. Ah, uh, I thought I wasn't going to be able to make him there. Or maybe he'd have a helmet that would prevent him from being knocked out, but thankfully not. They did not have the foresight to do that, and by they I mean Truett. Okay, cool. That makes it a lot easier. Oh, kind of. Um, why is that turret facing the wrong direction? Huh. I really don't recall how to get over here. I mean, I'm sure I'll find it, but... Oh, unless there's something over here that I missed. Possible. Likely even probable. Ah, here we go. Okay. That's the ticket. Look at that glorious forest that ends abruptly. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. That's not the best. Neither is this. So far, this is kind of the crummiest looking level in the game thus that we've seen so far. In my humble opinion. I think I recall there being like a secret area behind one of these rocks or something. Maybe I already missed it. Or maybe it's somewhere else. I don't know. I never knew about it, but I think I saw it in a Let's Play once. Something like that. Ooh. I suppose I can go through here, can I? No, looks like not. Man, that looks kind of crummy. Like, I mean, really. <laughs> Wish they would have done something a little different there. Oh well, as I said, this is probably just a matter of them having not that many resources to work with after they'd finished the mansion itself. So they just had to slap together this big outside courtyard and they just didn't have much to work with. Uh, uh. Hey, key, I'll take that. Balcony, huh? Alright, cool. Hmm, so, I've seen both sides of the house now. Where does this go? Anywhere important, I wonder? Let's find out. Okay, you can get off there now, Garrett. Thank you. Well, that's pretty ineffective. <laughs> the bucket broke right off the rope. They're gonna have a lot of trouble when they when they want to fetch some water. 
So it kind of sucks that the well is this far away from the house. Some poor sucker has to come out here in, in the cold winter or the freezing rains and stuff and fetch some water for the for Truart's stew or tea or whatever. It was a mechanical rat that makes a lot of gr grrr sound. Nothing there now. <laughs> these guys do not. These guys sh he should really invest in some eyeglasses for his guards. Cuz we see that there are spectacles. We've still we've picked up a few and even stolen some. So they do exist, but people just are very opposed to wearing them it seems even though they clearly need them. Let's see if there's anything else around here. I do remember some of this. Yeah, with the archers up here. Wow. I thought this was gonna be dark here, but clearly not. That was close. I wonder if she'll die if I kind of My baby brother does better than that. <laughs> Her baby brother does better than dropping her ten feet to the ground. Okay, well, good to know. Uh, uh, come on. Come on. Down. There we go. Just kind of compelled to see if I can knock out all these guys just to make sure that I'm not missing anything around one of these sides, side areas. Also, what a message it would send to Truert. I mean, okay, he's a no KO guard. Even though we didn't we knock out a guy who looked just like him before? Wow, Benny, you've really got a, s a skull of steel. Congratulations. I think we just almost killed him. Okay, he's dead. We're in trouble. Whoops. Okay, let's not do that then. Oh well, we'll just go in the back or climb up a balcony somewhere. We'll figure something out. Kind of an. Surprisingly clear sky. Most of these nights are pretty, pretty cloudy. It's got to be cold as hell out. It just looks kind of chilly out, doesn't it? Oh well. Say again. Again. There, I said it. Now what? There's probably gonna be another Benny equivalent over there who has a helmet that I can't bonk him out with. These steps are kind of cool, though. I like the setup here. That's that's pretty neat. I love it when they go ahead and put that kind of detail in there. But all I've got is a balcony key. Is that going to work here? Or just my normal lockpicks will? Okay, well, if nothing else, my sword will do the job. Okay, but no worries for that. So this isn't a balcony. Is this a balcony? I thought a balcony has to be, like, hanging, suspended over something. Like, up there would be a balcony. Down here, not so much. Is this stone or is this wood? So if it's if it's wood, I like to rope on up there. Oh, cool! All right, sweet. Well, I think we can we can get right up on this balcony then. <laughs> Maybe with new mantling. Oh, disappointing. It's possible though. I'd almost bet my life on it, but not quite because I'm not a gambling man. And also, that'd be a pretty stupid bet. Maybe I can get in one of these windows, but it doesn't really look like it. At least they're facing the other direction, so... Ah! Uh. Uh. Um... I guess I just screwed up my quick save. What the hell? Uh... My quick save isn't working. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, well that is very bizarre. Obviously I managed to get up here by doing what I was trying to do, but when I hit Alt S, which is normally quick save, I'm just backing up as if I'm just hitting S. And if I hit Alt L, it does nothing. Alt and L Alt does nothing, S Alt does nothing. What the hell? That always worked before, all of a sudden, like literally out of nowhere, something must be messed up. I'll have to be right back.